In this video, I'll demonstrate how to work with style sets in Corel Designer. Style sets enable you to quickly apply a set of properties to one or more objects, and changing a style set updates all items to which that style set has been applied. Style sets also make it easy to comply with drawing standards such as S1000D. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial. There are three dockers I'll be using for my examples. Properties, Object Styles, and Projected Axes. Dockers can be opened via the Window menu, or I can use the Add icon below the Docker tabs. Properties is the docker I'll be using first. After I draw a curve with the Bezier tool, while the curve is still selected, I can use the Outline tab of the Properties Docker to change outline color, width, or line style. There are also tabs to set fill, transparency, and other properties. With style sets, I can avoid having to manually apply each individual property. In the Object Styles Docker, there are several style sets already defined, configured for use in technical illustration. You can also create your own style sets which I'll show farther on. I'll choose Thick Line, whose properties appear just below, and click Apply to Selection. There are also keyboard shortcuts for applying the default style sets. Control Shift 1 applies Thick Line, Control Shift 2 applies Medium Line, use 3 for Thin Line, 4 for Center Line, and 5 for No Line. I'll go back to Thick Line. When I open the Properties Docker, the properties match those of the style set. I'll now press Ctrl D to make some duplicates of the curve, which all have the same properties. Returning to Object Styles, I'll update the outline width and color for thick lines. This changes all curves because they all have this style set applied. Now I'll select and delete the curves and show how to use the thick line and thin line style sets in a parallel perspective drawing of a bolt. I'll choose View Grid Document Grid, or press F10, and open the Projected Axes Docker. Activating the blue plane adjusts the grid and drawing tools to that plane, and I'll draw a center point circle with a 50 mm diameter. A common technique in technical illustration is to assign thick lines to outer edges and thin lines to inner edges. This can be done by turning on Thick and Thin Lines, and the thick line style I edited before is now applied to the thick part of the circle. The thin line style is applied to the rest of the circle. Returning to the docker, I'll set a 90 mm distance in the Z axis, add one copy, and click Apply to create the back of the bolt. The outer part of this circle should be thick, so I'll click Reverse Line Width. Now I'll turn off the grid and use the Two Point Line tool with the Tangential option to connect the two circles. In the Object Styles Docker, the Thick Line Style Set is still selected, and I could click Apply to Selection, or double-click the Style Set. I'll add a second line, and this time I'll drag the Style Set directly onto the line to apply it. To clean up the drawing, I'll use Virtual Segment Delete to remove the part of the circle at the back of the bolt that wouldn't be seen in a 3D drawing. My final drawing would look better with thick edges that are black and a bit less thick, so I'll make these changes to the Thick Line Style Set, which updates all thick lines at once. In the Projected Axes Docker, clicking in blank space returns to orthographic drawing mode. With the Pick tool, I'll select the entire bolt and make two duplicates. In addition to the default style sets, I can also create my own. I'll activate the One Leg Callout tool. And to set up automatic numbering, I'll click Text Source and choose Increment, which starts the numbering at 1. I'll drag to apply the callout to the first bolt, and while the callout is still selected, I'll use the Properties Docker to change the arrowhead to a dot, open the Halo tab and widen the halo, open the Text tab to change the number, font, and size, and on the Callout tab, I'll add a circle around the number. Pressing the spacebar returns to the Pick tool, and the callout is still selected. In the Object Styles Docker, I'll click From Selection, 
which creates a new style set that includes all properties of the selected object. I'll name the style set Callout, and clicking the gear icon opens the list of property categories that correspond to the tabs that appear below, such as Outline or Fill. I can display more tabs if needed, or close tabs. There is also a delete icon for the style set, though the default style sets cannot be deleted. Now, when I add a callout to the next bolt, the incremental numbering is correct, and to apply the new style set, I'll click Apply to Selection. If I don't want to apply this style set each time I add a callout, I can right click on the style set and choose Set as Default. Now, the third callout automatically has the correct properties. And if I want these callouts to stand out a bit, I can adjust the outline color and width for the style set. Keep in mind that new style sets you create only exist in the current document. To save the callout style set as a default for future documents, I'll click Import Export, choose Set as New Document Default, choose Style Sets, and click OK. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on style sets in Corel Designer. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also find a written version of this tutorial.